Hey there, today we have an exciting tutorial for all you iPad users who love playing Minecraft. We'll show you how to connect your Xbox controller to your iPad, making your gaming experience even more immersive. Before we start with the steps, we would appreciate it also if you could support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and click the notification bell. The first thing you need to ensure is that your iPad and Xbox controller have Bluetooth capabilities. Most modern iPads and Xbox controllers support this feature, but if you're using an older model, check the specifications to make sure. Now on your iPad, navigate to the Settings app. Look for the Bluetooth option and turn it on. With Bluetooth enabled on your iPad, grab your Xbox controller. On the controller itself, press and hold the Xbox button in the middle and the small round button at the top simultaneously. This will put the controller into pairing mode. Once in pairing mode, your iPad will detect the Xbox controller as an available device under the Bluetooth settings. Tap on the controller's name to initiate the connection. After tapping on the controller's name, you'll see a prompt to confirm the pairing request. Go ahead and tap pair to complete the connection. Although the uh, default controller settings work well for most games, Minecraft has its unique gameplay. So let's see how we can optimize the controller setup for an even better experience. Launch the Minecraft app on your iPad, and once you're in the game's main menu, tap on Settings. Within the settings, select Controller or Touch, depending on your current setup. In the Controller Settings, you'll find various options to customize the button layout and sensitivity. Feel free to experiment and find a configuration that suits your playstyle. For example, you can reassign buttons, adjust the look sensitivity, and toggle auto jump, among other options. Now, let's test our newly connected Xbox controller in Minecraft. Start a new, or load an existing world in Minecraft. You should now be able to control your character using the Xbox controller. If you encounter any issues with button mapping or sensitivity, you can always go back to the controller settings in Minecraft and fine-tune them to your liking. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more gaming tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay awesome, and goodbye!